Well, guess what, my friends? I have good news. Yes, good news indeed. If you saw the last vlog, we came to Makita, Oklahoma to check out the Twister Movie Museum. Unfortunately, I didn't know that it was the off season and that it was closed, so we ended up seeing all of the filming locations here in town, but I called the owner and she got back to me last night and said that she could meet me today. So we're going to see the museum today. Days with Jordan the Lion. It begins right now. Now, like I said in the last vlog, I've been here before and I loved it so much. I just wanted to come back and share it with you guys. This place is amazing. You don't get a museum dedicated to a whole lot of movies. So the fact that they've done it here is not only smart, but it's appreciated and fun. Let's take a look at this. She has real debris from the movie, which we kind of laugh. It's like, well, it is just garbage, but it's screen used garbage. It's all stuff that you, you see in the movie. All the piles of stuff and everything. Then they actually have one of the Dorothys, which is so cool. The studio gave it to them. This museum actually opened in 95, right after production left. They hopped on it right away. And um, the movie studio was very supportive of it and gave them this. And she created her own <laughs> Christmas ornaments that look like the sensors. But, like you can see, oh, it's saying that this is the one that got flipped over. I saw another one in uh, Kansas at the underground salt mine, Strataka. I think that was Dorothy 3, if I'm not mistaken. But look, you can see where it got banged up from falling out of the truck. Wow, so cool. So cool to see an actual hero movie prop like that. And the doors from the bank and some shirts from the movie. And then the walls have been signed by different people that worked on the film, cast and crew. Let's see, weather consultant. Location department. The reason it was here. <laughs> and then they let some of the extras also who were locals that got jobs. And she has her own <laughs> shelter in here just in case a tornado comes through. I was like, was that screen you? She goes, no, that's for me. Just in case. And the Christian church there. The movie that hit Wakita. Okay, I think that's Aunt Meg's house during the rescue. Yeah. So I think we're gonna see, I think that's Helen Hunt over there to the left. Yeah, Aunt Meg's dog. Sorry, I'm filming it off of a TV and it was filmed on like a camcorder. Yeah, I'm dropping the house. See, they needed to do another take of that. So they're actually picking it back up somehow and they're gonna do it again, drop it again. Okay. 
Now you see why I wanted to come back to this museum so bad. If you love the movie, this is just such amazing footage. I don't think they're going to be doing a retake of that. Here they're filming some of the tornado scenes with strobe lights and those heavy fans. Alright, so let's go into the bank. Look, there's Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton. Fantastic acting, casting and everything in this. All-star supporting cast. They even got like local weathermen to be in the movie. And that's what Wakita looked like when it was all said and done. <laughs> Look at the wall in here. They have a memorial to Bill Paxton and Dusty. Because, well, that was Philip Seymour Hoffman. Both of them have passed. Both great in the movie. Then down here they have a football signed by Bill Paxton. This was used, he used to play with this during, or like in between takes on set. You can see there he is holding it. And there's a signed photo of Helen Hunt and Bill Paxton. And a letter here to Linda the woman who owns the museum from Bill on his stationery. She said he was always incredibly nice. This is showing the destruction of the car, the Jeep that they use. Actually, it's Dusty's Jeep, right? Now, I was amazed. I did not know they had a twister pinball machine until I came here. Very cool. Whoops. And then this whole display shows the Hollywood magic that they have on video. A lot of the, uh, see the tree has the car in the tree. Just a lot of the ways that they filmed it and messed everything up for the tornado scenes. There's a casting sheet. And here Aunt Meg's put her handprints in this. We had Look. probably over a thousand people here that day. Had awesome! A couple of the stars were here, so. Who all came from the movie for the 25th anniversary here? Wendell Josepher and Sean Whalen. Oh, great! That's great. And you, ha how often do you have a Twister Festival here? How often do you celebrate one? Well, we do something every fall in September, but that's a local town celebration. The movie just joins in with it. Right. Like this year will be our hundredth town celebration. So we're going to have a Storm Chaser car show. Oh, cool. And, uh, we'll have a parade in the morning and afternoon entertainment and kid games all day long. So. Does the town, are they still glad that the movie took place here? Or do they miss some of the buildings that are gone now and the history of those buildings? Well, both. Uh, we had had a hailstorm a couple of years prior to the movie coming. 
that destroyed every roof in town. I mean, it was like grapefruit-sized hail. Oh, wow. And so it also happened in June, which was our main harvest time. So we were left without income and, um, you know. <laughs> like Almost like a blessing in disguise that it was yeah. they came to you. And so the people that didn't had empty buildings were probably not insured, and so they didn't get fixed. All our all our money went into fixing our homes that we were living in. And right. Stuff. So there were empty downtown buildings and a few empty homes. So a couple of years later, the town was in the process of tearing those buildings down anyway. Gotcha. Because they were becoming derelict. Skunks would live in them, you know, yeah. things like that. And so uh, we were going to tear them down anyway. So... I mean, people were going to miss them whether the movie did it or whether we did it. Right, but it... And so the movie came in and said, let us do it for you. And we said, thank you very much. And they did a good $100,000 worth of demolition work for the town, fixed it up, cleaned it up, uh, gave us stuff to plant lawns and things. So it was very beneficial to have the movie here at that time. And then now, still 25 years later, we get, uh, you know, a little sales tax coming in yeah. all summer long. So and probably and gave people it. jobs as extras to be in the, the movie. Did they hire people from around here for that? Everybody in town got to be an extra if they wanted to. They actually had a casting call next door to the museum, and everybody got to go in and sign up. And uh, pretty much they called everybody. I actually got to be uh, on three different days just myself alone. Can you see yourself in the movie? <laughs> uh, sort of, kind of, but it has to be on the big screen. Once it gets down to the television set, it doesn't, <laughs> doesn't show up quite so much. But, uh, you know, there's only 400 people population anyway, yeah. so it wasn't too hard for them to, to script us all in. But uh, they paid us a little bit, and of course we got to be this much closer to the stars. How were the stars? Did they interact with you? Did were you able to talk to them in passing, or how did how did how did that work? Mostly while they were in Waukegan, they were working, so it wasn't a real one-on-one -on -one with the stars very much. Now Paxton, anytime he wasn't working, he was out running up and down the streets playing football. I suppose it was his physical activity. And you have the football. And we have the football now. But Paxton was from Texas originally, so uh, maybe a little more used to our lifestyle in Oklahoma than uh, it Hollywood was. I mean, California and Oklahoma are totally different yeah. types of personalities. And so, uh, you know, we really enjoyed him. He was our favorite star. Now, when the construction crew was here, it was a lot more relaxed, and so we got to be a lot more one-on-one -on -one with the construction crew. Uh, once the stars got here, they're being paid big bucks to work, so, mm -hmm. you know, they're they focusing. out partying too yeah. much. So, but anyway, uh, yeah. And actually, since Twister's been here, we've had small parts in two more movies filmed in Waukegan. Uh, you know, so our teenagers all got to be extras in them. Oh, then, great. Because they used our school. Oh, great. Our school. So, you know, it's brought a lot to Waukegan. It's made our name famous, obviously. Yeah. And, uh, you know, so it's been interesting. I don't know that it's changed the lifestyle much mm -hmm. because it's still a farming, small farming community. Uh, but, uh, you know, otherwise we have lots of fun visiting with visitors all summer long. That's great to hear. That's so great to hear. So, yeah, I just did an interview yesterday, uh, a phone interview with somebody from LA, I'm gonna write a news article about it, you know, 25 years later kind of Yeah. Thing. Was Aunt Meg's so, house a real house here in town or was that one that they constructed and then? It was a real house that they refurbished a lot. Okay. I mean, they didn't touch the utilities or the roof or foundation, anything like that. But plywood, plywood, plastic, and paint went into it. Okay, I always wondered about it that. Looked pretty, yeah. But it, it was a three-story house here in Waukegan. This is all their behind-the-scenes footage of how they brought down the buildings and everything for the 
post tornado scenes. That was all just across the street. Now check this out, the bank that they destroyed, she has the doors right there. That's the entrance. Behind that building is the post office and telephone office. This is locked in a three-story hotel. And that's what used to be on that corner we saw in the last video. Oh, that house is gone also. Complete house, but just nothing under Louis Sink's house. A fake house. Just oh, okay. Those were fake houses. Oh, those are the the windmill things that Joe sees and gets the idea of putting the propellers on the sensors. Oh, what that is. Wind chime, Brent, the big one? No, this one over here next to the that door. Is. And this building here is totally built from scratch. It looks like a workshop type. Mm. There he's showing the back of some of the fake houses. There's the whole house. One of them, he said they built a whole house on top, like over top of one of his he friend's houses that they house. bought. So there's a fake house over top of a real house. This is great. This is a um, homage to the local people from the news that they used in the movie. I thought that was a nice touch that they would do something like that. And then there's the town map of what they were going to film and destroy and everything. And the original movie models. They said that, she said that uh, Aunt Meg's house was on the demolition list as well, so that's probably why they picked it. Look at this, celebrating Twister. There you can see some photos from the movie, and they're signed. And this tape is great. It says that this is Warner Brothers location manager notifying Dwight that Wakita had been selected as the site to shoot the Twister. Those are original storyboards. What an amazing museum. I just love this place. Storm chasing manuals. Most 
good guys, Storm Chasers. Yeah, Wendell and Sean, she said, came for the 25th anniversary, which it was funny. You, like you said, you thought when you started the museum, oh, well, we'll get visitors for maybe a couple of years, but now 25 years going on celebrating the movie. And that was shot. That was the scene inside Aunt Meg's when they come to eat and get showered up and they're talking about her gravy is so good it should be its own food group. <laughs> Great scene. They had originally planned to do an outdoor Oklahoma barbecue. Oh, okay. But when they got here in July, it was so warm. California wasn't used to Oklahoma hot. Yeah. And so they moved it indoors. <laughs> For the actors, I'm sure. Changed, yeah, changed it up a little bit. So, yeah. A little all excited because we were going to be extras at a barbecue. Oh, you know? yeah. But anyway, all the... Uh, Demolition. When it gets banged around when and everything. It gets banged around. This That's one, what I thought. When it of, falls out of the truck and yeah. everything. They just changed the number. You can kind of see here where it was Dorothy 2 at one time. Yeah, I was wondering about yeah. that because I went to um, Strataka and they have, I think, number three. I was, where is number four? Uh, there's one at Norman. There's a Dorothy, a Dot, and a Toto in Norman at the Weather Center. I'll have to go there. Well, it's closed because it's a federal building for COVID. Oh, so okay. It doesn't let visitors in right now. I mean, it normally does. Right. It's good to know, though, but, in the future. Yeah. Until COVID does its thing and, and the government lets right. us, then it'll be closed. But there's one at Planet Hollywood in New York City as well, up in the air. Oh, okay. Hanging. <laughs> so okay. Hanging up in the air. So there are four real Dorothys out there. As far as I know, that's all of them. I mean, they could have duplicates different places. And I know a lot of the fans have built trucks. Replicas and stuff, replicas yeah. And stuff. Now, one of the actual Jeeps is actually in Guthrie, Oklahoma as well. So he takes it to events. Oh, okay. And was here for the anniversary party. Do you know what so, happened to Bill's truck, the red truck? Now, as far as I know, the majority of those were all destroyed by the movie because they were pre-release models. Gotcha. Dodge had not had them out yet. Okay. So they didn't want those getting out. In yeah, the on the marketplace. Gotcha. Right. Okay. That's, that's, that may be hearsay. I'm not positive because they did go to Iowa after they left Oklahoma. Right. Yeah. We went to that location and saw that house as well, which they've... Fixed it up. It looks really nice now. I think he would have done more for us and been here. Yeah, it, it is so sad to, to lose Bill Paxton. This is definitely a highlight to his career. I think this is one of the best things he ever did. Well, that's going to do it for us today. I can't believe I got to see Dorothy one again. That's so cool. She just got back from a weather event. Oh, great. I'm glad. I would have been so bummed if I came here and didn't get to see her again. She travels to weather events. Well, my friends, we're going to call it a day. I hope you enjoyed this. They really made a lot out of what little was left of this town after the movie, but this museum's so great. I hope you can all make your way to Wakita and check it out someday. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>